The Dyer County Museum is located inside the Professional Development Center at 305 College Street in downtown Dyersburg. This is the old Dyersburg High School, and some people recall it serving as the Dyersburg Junior High or Dyersburg Middle School. The museum doesn't have regular hours, but we're open to the public whenever people want to ask for a private tour or when meetings are being held inside the PDC. Enter through this door into what used to be the library. We have lots of exhibits on display in the main room as well as many areas down the hall. These are some of the military exhibits we have on display. These are people who are native to Dyer County who served in the military in World War II, the Korean conflict, as well as Vietnam. One exhibit that we have that we're very proud of is the Ken Huey exhibit, because Ken served um, in Vietnam and was shot down uh, over North Vietnam and was a POW for over five years before being released at the end of the Korean, of the uh, Vietnam War. We have lots of his artifacts from that period in his life. We have our Dyersburg uh, book that we did with Bonnie Carvalis out of Memphis, as well as, as well as artifacts that we have from the old gymnasium. We have a slideshow running on one of the TVs there in the PDC that show lots of different images of uh, Dyersburg and Dyer County in years gone by. We have a model of the Wright Brothers airplane that was uh, given to the museum by the folks out at the uh, Dyersburg Airport. And also from the airport, we're proud to have a symbol of uh, Patsy Klein's last phone call that she made before uh, she died um, in 1963 in a plane crash as she left Dyersburg and was flying back to Nashville and ran into some bad weather. The farm implements and cars and trucks and things like that are a donation given to the museum uh, by, the, by Dallas Castleman and his wife Linda. Kids enjoy seeing these exhibits on display. We're working on an exhibit for Jerry Cooper. Jerry Cooper was a congressman from Dyersburg that served for many years, uh, rising to the position of the chairman of the House Finance Ways and Means Committee, a very important position in the United States Congress. We have a lot of his artifacts on display uh, in the PDC. We have plaques and memorabilia from schools uh, from the Rice Studio. Here is a studio camera that was donated by the Rice Studio. Uh, an old radio that was donated that was used uh, when FDR would have his fireside chats with the, the country, as well as an old pump organ donated by uh, folks from, from Dyer County. In the hallway, we have a lot of exhibits that are <clears throat> memorabilia from Dyersburg High School. Uh, you'll see some of these go back to 1910, 1911, and some of the uh, athletic and debate awards that were given to students when the high school was located on College Hill. In rooms down the hall, we have what we call The Way Dyer County Worked, which was a series of exhibits that we did in conjunction with the Smithsonian Institution several years ago. This particular exhibit is our Minglewood exhibit. Uh, Minglewood was a small town in western Dyer County that was where trees were harvested uh, many years ago, and people worked and lived there and were paid uh, by the company, the Mingle Box Company from Louisville, Kentucky, in company script. We didn't use money at that time. This was in the 1920s. In addition, we have uh, information and exhibits uh, depicting downtown Dyersburg as it developed over the years. 
We have pictures of students in front of their school, as well as uh, a map we're real proud of that shows all the schools in Dyer County in 1936. One of the more interesting facts about Dyer County is in 1936 there were 81 schools scattered throughout the county. Have athletic artifacts as well as this particular stage curtain that was donated by Finley School and a model of one of the <clears throat> last uh, one room schoolhouses that developed into a larger school in Richwood, Tennessee, which is west of Dyersburg. We have an old knob top refrigerator that dates back to 1939, which by chance happens to be the year the old high school, the PDC, was built in 1939. A picture of all the kids at Dyersburg High School in 1922. You can see the old school building there in the background. We have artifacts that we've collected from various places around the county, including old yearbooks, newspapers, spinets, uh, the newspaper from the Dyersburg Fabrics cotton mill era. There's the old mill whistle that called people to work and change shifts when the cotton mill was in its heyday. An aerial photograph of the complete campus of Dyersburg Fabrics, as well as images and artifacts that were collected uh, throughout the history of Dyersburg Fabrics and the cotton mill in Dyersburg, even dating back to the late 1920s when the company moved to Dyersburg from Oswego, New York including information about the mill town area. And the time when they used recycled soda bottles. This is the Madame Alexander uh, exhibit. These dolls were donated by Carol Harris to the Dyer County Historical Society. And they depict all of the First Lady inauguration gowns from Martha Washington to Pat Nixon. Here are some more exhibits that depict the way Dyer County worked. Various images throughout the history of Dyer County. These are on display in what we call the Timmerman Dollhouse Room. Uh, these dollhouses and miniature uh, display cases were built by Don and Nancy Timmerman as their family uh, liked to get themselves involved building dollhouses. Their daughter Miriam had a Barbie doll, and there she is. And they built one dollhouse, and then they kind of caught the bug and decided to purchase kits and to buy and build dollhouses over the years that would depict places they lived, vacations they took, churches they attended, houses they lived in. Uh, it's a very intricate, detailed uh, exhibit Miriam was the daughter who had the Barbie doll, and you can see that they uh, became pretty uh, skilled in putting these things together. Uh, a lot of detail, and kids love looking at these. They even did some exhibits that depicted uh, times of the year, such as Halloween, and even did one that depicted um, a modern-day book that we know as Harry Potter. This is the Bob Norman uh, Indian uh, Airhead exhibit. Bob used to dig around uh, various areas in Dyer County and collected these things. We have them on display inside the Dyer County Museum. We also have images of football teams at Dyersburg High School uh, back when they played in the Big Ten Conference. <laughs> 